Hi, welcome to the show. This week I'll be taking you downtown Indianapolis for a catfishing championship between three guides and teams from the Bowen Engineering Group. Now let's go set some lines. Hello? Hi, Eddie. How are things going? Oh, I'm just now, just now got our last couple of rods ready. How's it, how, how you doing on your end? Well, they're going pretty well for us, too. Uh, we have all our fishing licenses ready. We got them online, and the guys are ready to go. All right, well, good deal. Um, I'll plan on meeting you there at 4 o'clock, then. Okay, we'll see you there. Bye. We're just here for a big fish challenge today. You guys are going to participate in a catfish tournament. We've got three of the finest catfishing guides in the state, and uh, we're going to try to put you on some big fish and uh, just have a little competition between the three uh, charter captains and you guys as by teams. Weight or by, length? by weight. By weight. Yes, sir. We have official scales and Ken lures. Ken, you want to come on over here? Ron, come on over. Everybody, this is Ken Lures. He's the president of Duracats Fishing Championship Series, and he's. Uh, volunteered his time to come out here and do the official weigh-in and rules and regulations and all that kind of stuff here. So uh, this is Ken Lewis and then this is uh, Ron Streeter. He's going to be one of the uh, the guides, one of the charter captains and Scott Tutterall from Pike Bait and Tackle also. He's going to be one of the guides. So, <laughs> Alright Kenny, I'm going to turn everything over to you and uh, okay. fill us in. Okay. Well, we'll go over the rules to we'll start with. You know, uh, all state and local federal laws will be observed. Uh, each participant may weigh one fish. Catfish, he must be over 10 inches. That's legal weight, legal length in Indiana on our rivers. The captain of each boat is only allowed to set the rods out. He can throw it out when that weight hits the bottom. He locks the reel, he puts it in the rod holder. After that, it's up to you folks. He can only assist in netting when the fish is up to the boat. Uh, all fish brought to the scales must be alive and in good shape. We're gonna return all these fish back to the river Indiana, our waters are cold enough that our growing season is real slow, so all of our big fish are actually very resilient and they're very tough to grow that big. Uh, all fish will be released. Anybody that catches a fish that lets you get a deep hook set in or something like that, I've already talked to the captains about this. You can bring that fish in, weigh it in, we'll get him back in the river. He has a better chance of living in that river than he does in a live well. Uh, you are allowed to go back out, and if you catch a bigger fish, we will swap your weight. Any natural or manufactured bait is allowed. No boat will be allowed to anchor within 50 yards of an already anchored boat. All of these, I believe, they'll all be fishing anchored today. I, I don't believe anybody's going to be drift fishing. No calling of fish in the ramp area. Have your, by the time you get down in the ramp area, know which fish you're going to weigh in. I don't want to, no, we don't want to put any added stress on the fish. No foul hook fish will be allowed. No unsportsmanlike conduct will be tolerated. You guys listening? <laughs> Basically, <laughs> violation of any of these rules is grounds for disqualification. Uh, any violations will be ruled upon by me, and my word is the final word. And, uh, other than that, I'm mean, all amongst friends anyway, so it's going to be fun. Okay. If you're interested in fishing the Duracats Catfishing Championship Series, then please look up Ken Lewis at Duracats.com. After selecting the teams, it was time to determine the launch sequence. And we decided the best way to do that was just to draw names from a hat. I know how to draw one out of the hat here. Then 
This is first. First boat out is team number three. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. Who's team number three? Yeah. Yeah. I got to be on the track team two. Yeah. 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 Like you get that, that good yeah. Yeah. Did you just No, no, no. Kenny. Yeah. 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 Second boat out. Oh. One. Team number one. Team number one. Second at launch. Scott, you're second at launch. Well, it fits because the pros are third together. This spot is so good because this is where all the biggest fish that this that this boat has ever seen has come from. So if I just go by past history, hit some of these same little log jams over here where these flatheads are nesting, are getting ready to nest, I think we can boat a big fish before it gets dark. See? Sit right up on my log jam. We're gonna we're gonna move them off that log jam when it gets starts to get dark. You want it? Out there. Out there they take our I know it. Well, they're trying to win, but it's just not in order. To see. And they didn't catch any fish, and, and uh, yeah, he he just that was his last. Showing anybody super I'm not sauce. showing. Super sauce. Five inch thread fin. It's a great striper bait too. Ed's a real good fisherman. He's an excellent hunter. I mean, unbelievable hunter. No, you don't want to set the hook at all. You're going to do everything opposite that you normally would. Dura cats drinking water. Doesn't get any better than that, and I promise you, it didn't come from the White River. I was going to say, is this what the best catfish yeah. drink? It's all the favorite catfish drink. Big guys. Stuff. Dirt cats. Pay, pay attention now. This big, big guy hooks on here. Do you realize that? Yeah. This is a tournament? So when they, when they, what they have, they do when the fish bites on it, the hook actually comes up, and before it gets to the corner of their mouth, it turns and hooks them, and it hooks them automatically. You don't have to set the hook off. I think, I think that might be a bite right there. That's, yeah, that looks yeah, like a that, bite. Okay. That's on a whole shad, so go ahead and pick it up, and if you feel him jerking on it, go ahead and set the hook. Hey, team, in front of you guys, my cap's hungry. My son was about maybe six, maybe six, and in one day down there, we just, the first day we went out, bro, behind you, behind you, behind you, he is on there. Engage it and jerk it. Is he on there still? Yeah, he is. Oh, did he come off? Oh, he came off. Yeah, yeah, let's reel that one in. He baited her. Is he gone? Yeah, he came off. Oh, he got off. What, what are you pulling? Oh, I should have got out, got it out and set the hook. On the water. He didn't set the hook? No, he was just following me. Oh, he's just following you? Yeah. Well, shoot. You got a whopper or what? Uh, hey, we got one here, one here, one here. Right here, right here. I'm not allowed to catch him. I'll tell you what, I'll hand you the rod. Now, wait, 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 wait. wait. He, he, he's already slowed back down now. You'll feel it. Uh, hey, you can just lift him straight in. Okay. He ain't going to break that line. Flopping down on the boat here. That hood was getting a bite. This was getting a bite too. He's got. Watch him get it. Oh yeah, that's. Let that one go down. Oh no, that's shad. Never mind. Well, he bent it. Get him. Okay, back up. Yeah, because he's gonna swing soon too. It looks like. Oh, 
Yeah. I'm up. Alright, go ahead and reel yeah. up. Go ahead and take it. Just go ahead and take it. Go ahead and get it. Please. Yeah, hold it. Just start winding it in real fast. Go ahead, real fast. Wind fast. Now lift up, lift up, lift up. Wind fast. Get him out of there. Oh, he's got you all hung up. No, I don't know. Pull, pull, pull. It, it's, it's on there. Here he comes. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Pull real hard. Okay, stop right there a second. I think he might be on there. Okay, I'm going to try to get it unhooked, okay? I'm going to try to get him out of the... It's broke off. That's okay. It's all right. You don't want to wait on him too much, okay? When they go, get them fast, as quick as possible. Oh, we lost one, folks, in the broad daytime. Let me get a set up again, okay? At least we know they're hitting. It felt like a nice fish, guys. I really did. Oh, we got it. Got to pop right out here, man. You, Davey. There you go, too. <laughs> right, right. That was a pretty good little run there, too. We'll get him. So that one right there. Just keep your line tight. You sure he's on there? You can feel him? Just keep yanking. Keep reeling. Keep, Just reeling. keep, keep steady reeling. See if we need, just in case he decides to make a crazy run. I'm thinking I need to get out of your way. Well, wait till he gets up here and sees you. He ain't like your wife. He ain't gonna. Can you feel me? You get me? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, just bring him on in. He's not gonna go nowhere. He's too little. Look at here. All right, baby. Raise him on in here to me. Okay? Yeah. All right, I didn't mean to. Oh, you're all right. He's been down in the rocks playing. Oh, yeah, you see him. Or he had a big one get a hold of his tail, one of the two. Now, what's he Come big deal with? I don't know. We'll weigh him. I got a digital scale. We'll weigh him and get rid of the one we don't need. He's about the same size, I think. Okay, so we had one fish and we lost it. And then I decided, I realized I have to go to the restroom. And then I asked when we can go. And Andy said, well, we want to catch fish before we go in. So, so now it's turned out to the ultimate incentive for a female fisherwoman is to uh, tell her she has to catch a fish in order to go to the restroom. So, so we have a challenge ahead of us. <laughs> but I'm not going to let any more get away now, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, you Okay, back up a little bit, back up. Rod tip up, get the rod up, get the rod up, get the rod up. Pull him right into that net. He's foul hook too. I, I forgot that was a circle hook, that's the only reason he's foul hook. Well, that's not foul hook, he's hooked in the head. Yep. I forgot to tell you that was a circle hook. <clears throat> I guess he is a lot much bigger than that last one. I'm just... Bring him up here, we'll weigh them both to see that, which one's better. Go up. People wonder, how clean is White River? You tell me, folks, how clean is White River? They've done a great job in cleaning this place up. Yeah. Clean enough that it looks like it come out of the faucet. And we've had a bunch of rain even, so you can imagine what it looks like when it's not raining. 
Bowen has done sewer pro uh, a lot of CSO sewer projects, combined sewer overflow projects for the city of Indianapolis, and a lot of that white, clean water is because we're working with this, or we're doing the projects that the city is designing to manage the flow. And one of the, some of the projects have been with inflatable dams, where when it when it rains and there's tons of water coming in, the dams inflate, and they stop that water from coming down, so the water that's in the river that's coming in upstream can come down and be treated, and then it all, can all keep it all up. trickles downstream. Huh? Yeah. on there. <laughs> Swam towards you for a minute. Not a very big one, though, is it? No. Just like the other. Yeah, that's our smallest one so far. Ow. Well, guys, I promise you, it's not always that slow here in this spot. Um, you know, we just got stuck with a, with bad weather conditions today. I think the biggest fish on uh, one of the boats is two and a half pounds, and biggest fish on the other boat six pounds. Last I heard, so, and we chose to go for big fish, and this is the spot. I mean, we were here two weeks ago where we caught a 30 pounder. Let's take a look at that action right now. It's a big fish. I honestly can't tell you what it is yet. I'm pretty sure it's a flathead. It's a nice flathead. Bring him over here. Oh, here he comes. Oh, oh, oh. Here he comes, baby. Here he comes, baby. Here he comes. Let him have the boat. Have the boat. Here he is. Here he's got it. He's got it. Oh, he's got me. Where do we oh. got him? That's <laughs> yes, what it's yes, all about right there. <laughs> White River flathead, baby. Nothing like it. That's it. Nothing right like it. Dark. What do you say he goes, Eddie? 25? Uh, he'll probably go about 30. <laughs> wow. Cool. My guy said they're going in. Well, guys, it is now 9.20, and weigh-in time is at 9.30. We don't have any fish to weigh. We can take our bait. <laughs> so, but that's why you're outdoors with Eddie Broach and where it is as real as it gets. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So we're going to go head back and see what everybody else has got at the weigh-ins. There it is, 5.6. Ounces. A couple more sneakers in it, man. <laughs> Easy. 8.25. You're kidding me. There ain't no way. <laughs> now I know how Kitty wins these tournaments. Zero. There you go. Team two won tonight. Now congratulate everybody, Chris, if you will. Congratulations, you have a um, hundred dollar gift Gander certificate Mountain. from Gander Mountain. <laughs> Ron, congratulations, you, you also get a gift certificate from Gander Mountain. Gander Mountain. Gander Mountain. Gander Mountain. Thank you very much. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. I'd like to thank everybody for joining us for the uh, Big Fish Challenge here today. Uh, not a whole lot of big fish were caught, but I appreciate you watching the show. And remember, you're outdoors with Eddie Brochen, where it's as real as it gets. We'll see you next week. <laughs>